Let's install Wireshark on this Windows XP computer. Wireshark is available as a free download from the Internet, so I'm going to commence by double-clicking on my Internet Explorer, which takes me to my Google homepage from where I can search. I'm going to type in Wireshark, W-I-R-E-S-H-A-R-K. Google's search engines will then find millions of results referencing Wireshark. It's a long, long list. But I like the very first link, www.wireshark.org. This is the central location for Wireshark resources. I'm left-clicking there, which takes me to their well-organized website, which has a lot of resources for learning and downloading and enhancing Wireshark. Prominent on their website is the download link, Download Wireshark. I'm clicking that now, which takes me to their download page with options for various operating systems. I'm going to do the very most popular one, the Windows 32-bit installer, because that's the operating system that I have. If I was using one of these other operating systems or wanted source code, I would choose a different link. But here's mine. Click. That brings up this frame with the offer to save the download installer, a 17.2 megabyte download. So I'm going to click Save. It asks me where do I want to install it, and I normally save all my installers in an area on my C disk drive called Installers, in which I'm going to create a new folder named Wireshark, W-I-R-E-S-H-A-R-K. Entering that folder and clicking Save down here will cause it to be downloaded. It says I'll have it in 3 minutes and 22 seconds. This bar graph will, will grow from left to right in the usual pattern, and as it gets almost done, I'll continue this little movie clip. We'll stop it for now. Thanks for holding. Almost three minutes have passed, and my 17 megabyte download is nearly complete. It says five seconds, four, three, two, one second, and download complete. Now that my download is complete, I know I'm done with their website. I'm going to close the web browser, and I've got a copy of it saved. I can always return to it, but my next step is going to be just here to click on Run to execute their installer. We'll continue that with our next video clip. This is how easy it is to go get their free software.